Yes, hello. This is the Arctic Circle speaking. Here in Gällivare, it's still pretty cold and dark. We haven't seen the sun for quite a while. But sometimes you can escape winter with a good book. Let's hear my colleague Rolf read from the old bestseller, Marbaten. Five days had passed, with constant winds from the north. The mountains wasn't on their side this time. Bitterness began to consume the thoughts of the almost stupidly positive Marcus Lemke. But the weather didn't affect the mood of Howard Stuba. He had been a fly fisher on the tundra his whole life. And in his youth, he also had let his mind become bitter and angry when the northern winds blew. But now he knew not to let his mind wrestle the wind. If the mountains told him to drink his whiskey, he drank his whiskey. After a week in the tent, the wind finally gave up. Alltså, det man måste huska på att det vänder väldigt fort i internationellt fiskefiske. Howard always says, things change really fast in international fly fishing. It is a comforting phrase when the northern wind is howling outside your tent. But when the weather conditions are good, it is a stressful sentence to have in the back of your mind. It can all be over in a minute. When he found the trout, he knew he had to act fast. In the shadow of a rock, the trout was watching the surface, not knowing that there was a Norwegian jazz musician with an artificial mayfly on the far bank. And so the dance began. The trout fought for its life, and Hård fought for his mental health and for his fishing body. He knew that landing this trout was a trip savior. Ah, Nirvana. There was a lot of weight on his shoulders. He could save the trip, but he could also send them down into complete darkness. Catching a trout on a dry fly was, after all, the only thing that really meant something for them. The trout swam back into the stream. And a few minutes later, the wind began to ripple the surface. But there was no bitterness left in the valley. The bond between Hovard and Marcus was perhaps stronger than ever before. The mountains told them to light a fire 
and boiled some coffee. So they lit a fire and boiled their coffee. It was a beautiful evening. And through the howling of the wind and the crackling of the campfire, Hovard heard his friend Marcus mumble to himself. Things changed really fast in international fly fishing. It is, it is a good book. <laughs>